Today, we're making homemade gnocchi with a delicious and simple tomato sauce. We're transforming a simple and cheap potato into a dough, forming it into these delicious little dumplings, which is what gnocchi is, Italian dumplings. And we're going to use one of my all-time favorite tomato sauces that only uses four ingredients. In fact, this whole recipe only uses six ingredients. So let's go. These are the four ingredients that I need. A can of tomatoes, 28 ounces or 800 grams or so, an onion, some butter, actually a fair bit of butter, and some salt. To start, I need to prepare my onion, but no dicing here or anything fancy. The onion is going in whole. All I need to do is cut it in half and take off the skin. I like leaving the root end attached. You'll see why in just a few minutes. I need to get a large pot, add my can of tomatoes. I like using a very large pot when making tomato sauce because tomatoes tend to splatter and that means it's gonna splatter all over my kitchen. Add my butter, my two halves of the onion, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to break up the tomatoes with the back of a wooden spoon as this comes up to a simmer. Once it's simmering, lower the heat and cook the sauce for 45 minutes. Onto the potatoes. These are boiling potatoes. They are the generic potatoes that I can find at my grocery store. No waxy potatoes, even russet potatoes won't work as well as a boiling potato. I'm bringing a large pot of water to a boil. As it heats up, I'm gonna put my potatoes right in. I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes. You want to avoid checking the potatoes too often because if you're gonna poke them with a knife, they'll get waterlogged and that water is gonna end up in our gnocchi dough later. Once my potatoes are done, I'll peel them. You wanna do this next part as quickly as possible. Working with hot potatoes or at least warm potatoes works best. I'm using a food mill, but you can use a ricer as well. These food mills, they're really cheap and they're really useful. So potatoes go in, turn the crank and the potatoes pass through the little holes and they're the perfect consistency to make our dough. Speaking of our dough, we need to use our last ingredient First, I'll put the potatoes on a work surface. I just use my counter, then add some flour. That's our sixth ingredient. You're supposed to use equal parts by weight of flour to potato. One pound of potatoes or about 450 grams is what I used here, which means 450 grams of flour. You don't want to add it all at once. There's a lot of variables that will dictate how much flour you need. I used about 75% of my flour before I had a sticky and smooth dough ball like this. Now I'm going to cut that into four pieces so it's easier to work with. Reflour my surface and start rolling one of the quarters into a log. This is where you can decide how thick you want your gnocchis. Generally, you want them to be about an inch thick or a couple of centimeters. Once the log is the thickness that you want, cut them with a bench scraper. Try to keep the same width on each gnocchi. We need to add the ridges and the dimple to the gnocchi. It took me a few tries to get right, but once I figured it out, I was making a few dozen gnocchis in just a few minutes. Take a fork and starting at the top or the pointed end and roll it towards the bottom of the fork. You wanna push down slightly with your thumb as you roll. This way the fork makes little indentations on one side and your thumb makes a little divot on the other side. The sauce will get caught up in between these little grooves, which is delicious. Let's set aside our gnocchi and check on our sauce. I've been using a wooden spoon to break up the sauce as it's been cooking. After 45 minutes of simmering, we should have something nice and thick. Pull out the two halves of an onion. We left them whole and with the root end attached so that this part is super easy. Here I have a large pot of boiling water. I'm gonna salt this and then add my gnocchi. They'll sink to the bottom as soon as they go in the water, but after a minute or so, they'll rise to the top. This means they're almost done. Once they've been floating for about 10 seconds, pull them out with a sieve or with a slotted spoon. If you wanna get really fancy, you can taste one of these to see if it's exactly the way you want it so you know how long they have to sit. 10 seconds works for me. I'm putting them in a bowl, tossing them with a bit of my tomato and onion sauce. Add some Parmesan cheese and some black pepper. I love black pepper in this recipe. Time to plate. Gnocchis go in the center. Add some more cheese because why not? A little bit of fleur de sel and a glug of olive oil. Gnocchis look great. The sauce is getting into those little grooves that we made and the little dimple on the back. A pretty great meal with just six ingredients and about an hour of work. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.